Hello beautiful babes, welcome back to my channel. Today I hope you guys are excited because so many of you have been asking me to do a makeup tutorial so today I am here to show you my makeup routine and how to create just this everyday look. So before I start on any of my makeup, I gotta make sure that my hair is up because nobody wants makeup in their hair. So the first thing um, that I normally put on my face is a BB Tinted Cream by Tarte. Um, I am pretty much out. <laughs> um, I absolutely love using Tarte. Um, this is not sponsored or anything. I just... I love them. They're vegan, ve vegan, vegan, cruelty-free. They don't test on animals. Everything's natural and clean, and it just feels great on my skin. And this is what I've been using for years. So it's a 12-hour primer. Um, it's also a healthy treatment, buildable coverage, oil-free moisturizer. It's a pore minimizer and a skin brightener. I absolutely love this. So this is the thing that I put on my face first. Okay, sadly I cannot get anything out of that tube as much as I was hoping, so um, I'm going to skip that part. Before I even talk about this foundation, uh, tip here, if you want that airbrush finished look, take your sponge. So this is, I use a sponge, I don't use a brush or, or anything like that. I, I used to do the brushes and I find for me that the sponges are the best. Um, so you want to soak this. You want to get it completely wet and then dry it off with like paper towel and, and a towel. Uh, like just like a hand towel and then just like squeeze all the water out. So after you wet it, it should double in size. So the foundation is also by Tarte. Pretty much everything I'm using today is by Tarte. This is their new Shape Tape foundation. I am wearing um, Fair Light Neutral is normally my color shade. And I just, I, I absolutely love it. It's matte, it covers everything, it's a buildable coverage and it lasts all day. Oh, it's also a pump as well, which is so nice. So. Put it on the sponge. Also, a lot goes a long way. If I do feel that I need some extra coverage around acne spots, kind of like around my jawline here, this is where I get the most acne, so I need to add a little bit extra on top just so that everything is covered. And for that, again, <laughs> it's a Tarte product. Um, this is a concealer. You would choose your foundation shade. So I'm just going to put these on <laughs> my acne spots. You might have to add more to get a bit more coverage. I'm like almost out of this stuff. Don't send me more. All right, so the next step is concealer. So this is the one that um, you are actually going to use to highlight your face, which is um, underneath your eyes, um, the bridge along your nose and your forehead here. You want to highlight those and, uh, oh my gosh, what is this uh, called above your lip, your, your cupid's bow or something? Um, you want to go from there to the bottom of your nose. So normally I start with underneath my eyes. I don't do my whole face and a little goes a long way. And then you want to blend them, blend it underneath with your wet sponge. It's going to create that nice airbrush look. Okay, so this part is for those that have round faces, 
instead of um, just leaving the highlight, the concealer where it is, you actually want to take it down to your chin and do an inverted triangle all the way back up to where you started around your eye. So you just want to do that. I just like to dot. I find that's easier and that way you're not caking on so much product. And then again, back to blending. Say that's about good and so now you can tell where the lighter part of my face is highlighted and then afterwards I'm going to contour and then you can actually see the difference where I'm putting more shadow and then where I'm putting more highlight all right contouring so for this one you're gonna need a contour brush uh, this is generally what it looks like Scraggly hairs on this one. This one's Quo, uh, by the way, made by Quo, um, but you can use any brand. So what makes a contour brush is it's got kind of an angle to it, so it's easy to sweep up when you're applying the contour. And I use, again, <laughs> Tarte uh, for my contouring. Um, this is one of their palettes. Unfortunately, it came to me kind of dirty, so I apologize for how it looks. This is how it looks on the inside. The mirror is broken. It won't stay on the back. So I'm really hoping you guys can see this. So this is the color right here that I use for my face. This will work on any kind of skin tone because the best thing about this palette is all of these colors are buildable. So if you do have light skin, then I definitely would start with a small amount. I normally just dab a little bit on my brush, there's about this much, and before you apply any sort of powder, you want to blow on your brush and just make sure that you get just a little bit of excess off, so when you do put it on your face, it's not uh, intense. And um, you want to do it in, uh, in round motions along your cheek. I'm actually going to need a bit more here. But you can see the colors already popping. And don't worry if you're finding uh, the contour to not blend well or if you're seeing it go into other areas that you don't want to go or the line is really sharp because we're going to blend it again afterwards. This is kind of the contouring that you start with on any face shape is by following your cheekbone. You can easily do that by making the fish face and then next you want to stab a little bit onto your brush and then go to your forehead, um, dab a little bit on that side, dab a little bit on this side and then you're just gonna go in a circle again and blend it in with your contour brush and just go a little bit down here just to kind of make it look more like a sun-kissed look okay now I'm going to tackle my jawline just follow your own jawline with your brush want to move in sweeping motions around just to blend. I like to connect it right underneath my chin and then to take it a step further of just kind of bringing this all together you want to tackle your neck. <laughs> so this and this is what I've heard that they've done that they do in the movies to kind of make your face a little bit more slimming. It's nice to you know, connect your makeup from your jawline to your neck and you want to add three lines, so down your kind of where your trachea would be <laughs> and then both sides of your neck and then just blending. Okay, so this next part is for those with round faces. So I've heard that this is what they do for men on movie sets. However, if you have a round face, 
this works for you and I promise it does not look masculine you've seen all the photos that we've done that I've been in and it just kind of helps to contour those that have round faces just adding a bit more shadow into a place that normally wouldn't have it so for this I take my smaller contour brush because I need a smaller line and for this one I do want it to be a bit more sharp but I am going to blend it with my other brush afterwards so you're going to make that fish face again puck your lips and then you're gonna take your brush and you're gonna start at the bottom of where your first contour was and you're gonna take it to um, beside your chin here so it's gonna go from here to here so I love this because it gives a lot more definition to those with round faces you can see this type of contour style on celebrities with round faces I can't remember her name but the best example is that girl from spider-man not Emma Stone the one who played in the first Spider-Man. I can't remember her name. She's a redhead. Then you're gonna to wanna to continue on the other side. So now um, you're adding shadow all the way from uh, the tip of your jawline and then going up your cheekbone and then it's going to show in your on your forehead as well. So now I'm gonna go in and blend everything. Oh, and I'm doing this with my Tarte Mermaid brush. <laughs> it's just a fluffy kabuki brush. Blending is very important. You don't want to be one of those chicks that doesn't have her makeup blended. Especially around the jawline. Caitlin Hargreaves, if you're watching this, do not worry, I am blending. <laughs> okay. So you think that's about done? Gonna move on to black. All right, so another thing that I love about this palette, it uh, not only has all your contouring and bronzer options, um, but it does have a blush, and it's a beautiful blush. I actually also like to use this as my eyeshadow, so I'll show you guys how I do that um, in the next step. And it also has Illuminator here as well, and it's got two different kinds. I'll show you how I use those. So for the blush, you want to take a blush brush and they usually look like this. Um, this one is by NYX. It's another brand that I like. You can actually get it at Shoppers Drug Mart. Tarte you can get at Sephora in Canada. Okay so now that I have the blush on my brush so again whenever you dab into anything powder you don't want to put it directly on your face after doing that because then you're going to get an intense amount of color which you do not want and it's difficult to blend. So once it's on your brush, just give it a good blow and then um, you're going to smile to <laughs> um, create the definition in your cheeks, uh, you know, when it looks like when you're blushing and then you're going to go in an upward sweeping motion to apply the blush. I'm not good at explaining things so it's better if you guys watch. I'm super big into blending so I'm gonna take my kabuki brush again and I'm just gonna go in and kind of blend and feather out the blush here so you get that airbrush look and everything just kind of streamlined and blended and it looks natural which is what I like Okay, so that's a bit more blended and then I just kind of go in again just to um, add more color since blending kind of takes it away and I just, I don't even, um, I don't dab back into the blush, I just go back in with my brush and then just do the sweepward motion back again. 
So since I have my palette still open, I kind of like to kill two birds with one stone. Sorry, birdies. I just love this blush and I love the way that it um, pops and brings definition to my eyes. So this is generally what I use, what I have been using lately for photo shoots. Um, so I just take my eyeshadow brush. I normally don't do a lot of eyeshadow because I don't find that I'm good at it. So I just take this one color, um, my brush by, I think it's Quo. Uh, again, you can get these at your local Shoppers Drug Mart. If you go to Fremont Village in Poco, my mom actually works there. And she's the cosmetics manager and can definitely help you out with finding like the perfect brush and they've got cleaners and all that stuff. And as, I mean, as long as you're good to your brushes, they will generally last a long time. So hopefully you've learned just from watching me apply the eyeshadow because I'm terrible at explaining things that I'm just, I'm dabbing. So I'm going along the crease of my eyelid. Um, now I know, I know the lines look really blunt right now, but again, we're gonna blend afterwards. So that's that's literally it. So I just, I dab around my eyelid and the crease and then I leave it and then I move on to the next eye. I normally do wear eyeliner, but I find it's a pain in the butt and if I can put on as less makeup as possible, unless I'm doing a shoot, um, then I will. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take my blending eyeshadow brush. I don't know what these are actually technically called, but uh, this is what mine looks like. It's made by NYX. And I'm just gonna go in around my crease uh, so where the line around here is quite sharp and I'm just going to blend it going in uh, clockwise motions all the way around. Alright, so that's basically it. There, and it's just a little bit blended and um, now you've got this um, blush on your eyelid. So the next step is applying illuminator to the high points of your face. Um, again, another reason why I love this palette and why I chose it because it has contour, bronze, um, it's actually got two different kinds of contouring and like bronzer options in here and especially for different face shades too which is what I really like um, is the illuminator um, so it's a nice so it's a shimmer and you want to apply that to the high points of your face so you take your fan brush which looks like this mine is from NYX um, just dabbing your brush again blowing on a little bit before you apply it to your face um, I start with my nose so the tips of my nose, you always see that my nose is shiny. This is why, it's from Illuminator. Um, so I go from the tip of my nose, um, and then my bridge here, my forehead. So yeah, you're gonna make the kissy face, like fish, whatever. And you're gonna apply it to your highest cheekbone, so just above where you would put your blush. Then you're also going to apply it to the side of your face here and then repeat steps on the other side. You're also going to apply it to your cupid's bow. By doing that it will actually make your lips look fuller and more defined. And then you're just going to put some on your chin. You get like a nice, nice like workout glow kind of. Oh, actually one more thing that I do like to do. Um, when I'm having photo shoots, I just take a round brush like this, generally for eyeshadow, from Tarte, and I'm gonna dab in the center, which is a another illuminator, and I actually apply that in the inner corner of my eyes, just because it makes them pop a little bit more. But the great thing about this palette, again, is that you can use these colors for everything, for anything, just like I use the blush as eyeshadow. And I'm just gonna 
just blend it because it actually can go on um, pretty pretty harsh. And yeah, that's it. So the almost last step is um, again Tarte. I use a finishing powder. This is um, the Smooth Operator and it's made with Amazonian clay. That's generally about, I hope you can see this, how much I, I get out of there. And then you're gonna wanna take a different sponge. So not the sponge that you used for foundation. You wanna have multiple sponges. Uh, this one is just for this powder. Um, and it is not wet, it is dry. So you wanna take just the tip of your sponge and then dip it in the powder. And you're gonna want to put it under your eye. So just watch me. So you're basically gonna to want to follow the highlights of your face. And don't worry about the illuminator. We'll touch that up if we have to. So this also helps um, if you're perspiring to, um, it'll actually help to minimize that. It also helps to minimize your pores even more. It just helps to lock in everything. So you just wanna follow the highlight of your face. Um, if I notice I get too much um, powder down here. I just like to go with the opposite end of my sponge and just kind of dab it away from the illuminator. And then while I am letting that bake, that is what some people call it, baking it into your makeup, into your skin, I take my Lancome mascara. It is not my favorite mascara, but I don't have another one in the meantime. Normally I use Tarte. I, they're three in one like camera ready set go line. I can't remember what it's called, but take your mascara and put it on your eyelids. I don't think I have to show you guys how to do this. You're smart. I'm sure that you have probably put on mascara before, but if you haven't, um, the best way that I found to do it so that you don't get it on the upper part of your eyelid is looking down with. Uh, your mirror down so that you're looking up and blinking when you put it on your mascara. I am talking in contractions. Why am I doing that? All right, I am done putting on my mascara so this is what it should look like okay so now that your mascara is on we can go back to the pressed powder so grabbing our sponge um, obviously you can still see that the powder is still there so now that it's been baking we just kind of want to press it into the skin and blend it starting with the eyes because that's what you started with first and just kind of going from there Okay, and I'm gonna go with my um, fan brush again. It should still have a little bit of illuminator left. So just going along my cheeks. And my cupid bow, I, I find that that gets affected the most. And then what's, once that is done, uh, basically you're finished. So just uh, find your favorite you know, lipstick or lip gloss. Um, the color that I wear every day is made by NYX. It's a powder puff lip and it's actually almost gone. I don't even know if they sell this one in it anymore. If they, God, I hope they do because this has been like the best lippy and it's called Best Buds. It's a powdered lip cream and I just love it. Start with my bottom lip first. Smack your lips together and that's it. So the last, absolute last step of finishing this look and uh, making sure that your makeup sets is applying a finishing spray. 
Normally I use Tarte, but every time that I've gone back to replenish that item, it's been sold out. So um, my second go-to one is uh, Too Faced, and um, it's called Hangover 3-in-1, and it's a primer and a setting spray. So it's made with coconut water, probiotic-based ingredients, and skin revivers. It is silicone-free, alcohol-free, and oil-free. Um, it's just great. If you've used a spray before, you literally just spray it on your face like a mist. So you want to close your eyes. Spray it all over your face and then um, let that dry and you've got a full airbrushed ready to go makeup look. So there you have it, the final finished look for this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys liked it. I hope it was informative, educational. I'm so sorry that if I missed any information, I hope that I had tried to include everything in here for you guys. But if you do have any questions, please let me know in the comments. If you have any tips or tricks, I'd love to hear them. I'm sure other people would also like to hear them. And if you like this video, please hit that subscribe button to see more videos like this. Thanks so much for watching.